Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we're going to look at the home screen in your phone. The first thing you'll see after you've started and unlocked your phone is the home screen. This is the gateway to the main features in your phone. The home screen can be customized in any way you like. Here, you can make shortcuts to your favorite applications, change the look using wallpapers, add widgets and other items. The home screen extends to the left and right. You can view different parts of the home screen by flicking left and right. All in all, there are five parts. Here you can see which screen you're on. At the bottom of the home screen, you'll find the application screen icon. Tap it to see all applications that are installed. Drag to the left and right to browse. To place a shortcut to an application on the home screen, touch and hold on an application icon until you see the home screen. You now have two choices. Either place the shortcut on the home screen by letting go on an empty space, or place the shortcut in one of the four corners. The four corners are easy to reach using one hand, which makes them a great place for the applications you use the most often. To open an application in one of the corners, simply tap it. However, you're not limited to one application per corner. Each one can contain up to four shortcuts, giving you a quick and easy access to 16 applications in total. To start an application from one of the corners, simply tap on a corner or drag outwards from it and select the app you want to start, either by tapping an icon or dragging along the arc of the corner. To remove a shortcut, touch and hold on it until the trash can appears, then drop the shortcut on it. Open the application screen again. Here you'll find an icon for sorting your apps. This can come in handy if you have a lot of apps and want to sort them differently. Tap this icon to see the alternatives. You can choose from Own Order, Alphabetical, Most Used, and Recently Installed. Tap Alphabetical and see the icons rearrange. Tap the icon again and choose Own Order. In this mode, you can rearrange the icons freely. Tap this icon and the icons will start to float. Touch and hold on an icon and you can place it where you want. When you're done, tap this icon again. Go back to the home screen by tapping the home icon. Widgets are either small applications that run right on your home screen or parts of applications that give you a quick glimpse of information without having to open the full application. To add widgets, Touch and hold on an empty space on the home screen and pick Widgets. Pick a widget from the list and it's added to the home screen. In the same way you add a widget, you can also add folders or shortcuts. Touch and hold on an empty space of the home screen again. Pick Shortcuts. There are many kinds of shortcuts, such as a link to an album in the music player or a bookmark in your browser. I'll choose a direct dial shortcut. Now we'll have to select a contact and which number should be dialed. This creates a shortcut that dials one of your contacts simply by tapping it. Time to add a folder. These are great for organizing apps and shortcuts. And what's best, they'll only occupy one icon slot on your home screen. To create a folder, touch and hold on a shortcut and drop it on another. In the pop-up, you can name your folder and pick an icon. Tap Done when finished. Tap the folder to open it. Items in a folder can be rearranged however you like. Just touch and hold on the shortcut and move it. Also, you can rename the folder and change the icon at any time by tapping the name of the folder. To remove folders, widgets and other items, Touch and hold on an item and drag it to the trash can. 
As you might have noticed, your phone comes with a blue theme that is shown in most built-in applications and menus. If you would like a different mood throughout the phone, you can change this. From the home screen, tap the menu key, then theme. You can now browse through the available themes and tap the one you like. At the top of your screen, you have the status bar. Here you'll see notifications when something new happens, like this. So for instance, to take a look at the SMS you've just received, drag the status bar downwards to open the notification panel. Then tap the message and you will go directly to the messaging app where you can reply. Whenever you want to go back to the home screen, press the home key. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the support zone where you can improve your user experience.